Welcome to In Her Voice. My name is Kelly Covert, and I am passionate about helping women live authentically by listening to their inner voice. Get ready to be inspired by women of all walks of life that have set aside their should be's and not good enoughs and are standing in their true voice, the voice of wisdom that each and every one of us has inside. Hey there, you guys. This is Kelly Covert, and you are listening to episode 43 of In Her Voice. I am so excited that you decided to join me. And I have to be honest with you, I am so tired. I've been going on steam for a couple of days, and I just have a lot going on in my music life and also in my business and in my family. And when those three things collide, it can really do me in. But I still wanted to make sure that I recorded this episode for you guys. And so I'm doing something a little differently today. I have no notes. I have an idea of what I'm going to talk about, and I'm just going to go with it because sometimes in life, It's all about creating ease, creating ease for yourself. So it doesn't have to be such a struggle, which is an interesting paradox when I tell you what I want to talk to you about today. And that is the idea of getting uncomfortable. And right, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I know, like, even as I say this, I realize, hey, Kelly, you're talking about making things easy. And then you're talking about getting uncomfortable, which sounds hard. But I will stand on the fact that I think we can do both. And I think it's important to recognize that both are essential to our growth and to our evolution and to our becoming, which is a new idea that I'm loving, just the idea of becoming. I'm becoming every day, becoming more of me. So what do I mean when I say I think we need to get uncomfortable? Well, I've been noticing in my life over the years and the months and the weeks, and especially a lot in the past two months, I have really been getting deep into the work, getting deep into my soul's work, getting deep into the work of understanding who I am, getting deep into the work of acknowledging all that I'm bringing to this world, of listening to my inner voice. And hearing that voice say, Kelly, you are worthy, you are enough, and you can do this, and I believe in you. And when I'm deep in that work, as we all should be, what I notice is that it brings me to uncomfortable places. It brings me to places in my life where I don't know all the answers, and where I feel a little bit confused at the feelings that I'm feeling. And where I just have to trust, I just have to trust it because I don't know. I don't know the how. I don't know the how of how everything's going to come into place. I believe that it will, but I don't know the how. And that not knowing for me, my personal, (laughs) my personal self, the not knowing is uncomfortable. I like to know. I like to be in charge. I like to be in control. I like to be piloting my ship and in clear waters and to know exactly where it's headed. But sometimes it's foggy and that's uncomfortable, but that doesn't mean that we can opt out, right? Just because it's foggy doesn't mean that we get to go take a nap. And that's when we, when we're really getting into this territory of feeling uncomfortable. So why is it important? I really feel that it's in the uncomfortable places of life that we grow. That's where we learn. That's where we shed off the things that we don't need, the things that aren't serving us, the beliefs that we no longer have to believe in order to live out our best life. And let's face it, life is uncomfortable. It's going to stretch us. And we're going to feel uncomfortable whether we choose it or not. So if we're choosing it, that's when we can really be intentional, be intentional about the things that make us feel uncomfortable. 
So what is it that makes you feel uncomfortable? Maybe it's stepping out of your comfort zone in relationships. Maybe getting uncomfortable looks like going in to talk to your boss and asking for a raise or asking for acknowledgement. Maybe getting uncomfortable is speaking up in a room full of people. We all have different things that make us feel uncomfortable. And I think that the key to navigating this path of of getting uncomfortable in order to grow, in order to learn more about who we are, is to really be connected with our inner voice and let our inner voice guide us down that path. This is not about being unsafe. I never want you guys to feel unsafe. But when we start to get uncomfortable, our ego is like, whoa, whoa, I don't like how this feels. And it's going to start throwing up all of these red flags. And that's really why I wanted to share this with you because that's what I've been experiencing in my life over the past month. I've been been getting really uncomfortable. I've been going down that path. I've been making myself put one foot in front of the other in a really brave and courageous way. And everything that could possibly stop me has popped up. It's like it's like my subconscious is creating these things. Like I have technical glitches and you know my kid needs me to come get him from school or I have phone calls at really inopportune times or you know it seems as though it's external but really I feel like it's my subconscious doing everything it can to keep to keep me safe and what's safe to our our subconscious is is actually just same we could replace the word safe with same our subconscious always wants us to stay the same but transformation in of itself demands change so we have to get comfortable with that we need to be super comfy with change. We need to be super comfy and BFFs with being uncomfortable because that is the sweet spot, you guys. That's the sweet spot. And so one thing that I've recognized in my own journey through this and really um, sort of stepping deep into this zone of being uncomfortable, of, of seeking change in my life, is that I have to be gentle so it's like I'm I'm pushing, but then I have to recognize that I need, okay, now I need some space. I need some rest. And now I can push a little bit more. And now I need some space and I need some rest. And really being diligent with myself about my own self-care. So through this period of growth for me, I have been journaling, meditating, connecting, I have my supports around me. I have um, my good girlfriends who I know that I can call on a dime and they're going to be there for me and they get it. They speak my language. And all of that is how I'm taking care of myself as I push through and as I grow. And so this really, this episode really is today not an explanation as much as it is an encouragement. As much as it is is saying to you, now is your time and it's okay to feel uncomfortable because that is where the transformation lies. And I really want you guys to get excited about that. I want you to feel that change inside of you and know what is required. And what is required? You must listen to your inner voice and then you must be willing to get uncomfortable. And when you do that, you will see results. I promise you, if you do that and you don't see results, I want you to come talk to me. I, I, prove it to me. I dare you. Go out there and try it. Try it and see if it doesn't work. Because I think that if you think it doesn't work, you'll be pleasantly surprised because it really, really will make a difference. So 
That's all I have for you today. It's going to be a quick one, but let this be your inspiration for the week. What will you do today that makes you feel uncomfortable? What will you do today that is stepping outside of your comfort zone? And I would love to hear from you what it is. So as you listen to this, take a moment, think about what it is you're going to do. That's going to be stepping outside of your box today. Take a moment to connect with that place inside of you that has your wisdom and, and ask, how do you want me to grow? How do you want me to get uncomfortable? What, what does it look like? And then even if it's just a baby step outside of that box, do the thing and then let me know. So you could take a picture of yourself right after you do the scary thing or right before you get, get uncomfortable and then post it in Instagram or on Twitter or on Facebook. You can tag me at Kelly J Covert on all of those and you can use the hashtag in her voice. And that way we can really support you in doing this, in getting uncomfortable, in creating transformation, because transformation is where it's at, you guys. So let me know how you got uncomfortable this week and let me know how it felt and let me know how it felt on the other side, right? We know it's going to feel uncomfortable. How did it feel on the other side? As always, you guys, I want you to know that you matter. You matter to me so much, so, so much. I know that you guys are out there listening and sharing and telling other people about In Her Voice and letting me know what a difference this is making in your life. And I'm so grateful for you. You matter to me and you matter to this world. And when you start stepping out of your comfort zone and stepping into your unique gifts, in your purpose, in your wisdom. You are going to change the world. You are worthy 